February is here. Love is in the air. And Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Wait a second. That's not love in the air. Those are patches I smell. That's right, we're back for another Patch Tuesday recap, February 2025 edition. And hey, can I just say, huge round of applause, guys. January, terrible. Last December, terrible. This month, not so bad. Okay, let's get into the details. We've got 60 total exploits patched, pretty good. Critical, only three, and only five that are already known or exploited. So, uh, I mean, that is a huge step up from the last couple months. All right, let's dive into some of the details. Let's start off with CVE 2025-21379. Now this is a vulnerability impact in DHCP. This has a adjacent attack vector, which basically means an attacker needs to be on the same logical network to be able to intercept, read, and possibly modify that traffic, okay? So definitely bad on this one, but if you see any shady people around your building or your organization, definitely keep an eye on them. Next up, we're gonna be talking about CVE 2025-213 one and this one is actually going to be impacting everybody's favorite microsoft utility excel yep i wasn't talking about word nobody cares about you word anyways this vulnerability this is essentially a phishing attack if somebody crafts a malicious file gets a user to download it bad things are going to happen now the bad thing about this one is that it can be impacted even if they just view it in the preview pane in File Explorer. So they don't even have to launch the Excel file for the attack to work. Now, last up on our list, we've got CVE 2025-21376. Now, I think it was last month that I said LDAP is becoming the new print nightmare, but it looks like I was right because I think we've had an LDAP vulnerability for like five months straight now. Kind of the same old nonsense. It's a high attack vector, it's difficult to pull off. They have to win a race condition, but it's definitely not impossible. This impacts pretty much all the currently supported operating systems, so this is definitely one you wanna get patched sooner rather than later. Who knows, maybe next month will be the month that we don't see an LDAP attack. Now, while this was a lighter month for patching, that doesn't mean that Microsoft doesn't have a couple surprises for us. Word on the street is that the new Microsoft Outlook is being forced on users this month. Now, we actually have a video on our YouTube channel showing you how to block the new Outlook if you don't want any of that nonsense, so definitely check that out. Also, we've got Microsoft enforcing strong certificate mapping starting today. That's right, if you were caught out on this one, didn't hear about the changes coming, well, this is probably gonna impact you. If you start getting buried in an avalanche of support tickets and calls, this is likely the reason. Now, there should be a registry setting that you can go and change, which will postpone this. However, it's only until like September of this year. So get on top of this one, start getting those changes made. I mean, good luck. Microsoft, better communication, maybe. We'll get there. Anyways, everybody, happy Valentine's Day. From us to you, we love all of our sysadmins out there. If you love us, maybe you'll consider liking and subscribing, you know. And if you want to chat, maybe uh, <clears throat> let out some frustrations about Microsoft, head on over to our Discord server, which is discord.gg slash pdq, where you'll find tons of like-minded sysadmins over there, probably already venting about the same things. Until next month, guys, I'm Brock, and I'll see you later.